Ever since pothole patches came apart last month on I-264, we've been pressing one contractor to explain how it could have happened. Tonight, a former employee of that contractor, TME Enterprises Incorporated, tells you what he saw. Tell me your side's Lauren Compton has been investigating this story for a week now, and she joins us. Lauren? Nicole, his name is Bob LaBianco, and he was fired from TME, where he says he worked off and on since the 90s. And tonight, he is making some very serious allegations. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think they knew it was going to get this bad. Few drivers will forget February 8th. State police shut down Interstate 264 in Norfolk after heavy rains washed away pothole patches. The exposed cracks, holes, and ruts in 264's aging concrete left cars stranded with flat tires and drivers livid. Tim, he's going to be as cheap. They're going to go as minimal as possible. If you give them from a scale to 1 to 10, they're going to try to get 0.9. LaBianco claims that TME cut corners by buying what's called cold mix asphalt from local home improvement stores. To apply, you simply pour it into the pothole and pack it down. It's a cheap way out. It's getting taken care of, but it's not permanent at all. This internal report issued last week by VDOT's chief engineer says even though cold mix can be used by contractors, it does not hold up well in rain and traffic. Using cold mix might not have been an issue if TME had then returned and made permanent repairs to the potholes. The VDOT report says there is little evidence that that ever happened. LaBianco tells us he agrees with VDOT's findings and does not believe that permanent fixes were ever added. He tells us that during his time at TME, his crew used cold mix for all pothole repairs. In this email response to our questions, TME President Matt Aronzeller said TME has used this cold mix on occasion and emphasized that it's approved by VDOT. LaBianco also claims TME workers would erase pothole work orders out of fear of being fined by VDOT for missing work deadlines. As a zone manager, LaBianco tells us he was responsible for frequently checking work orders. And I'm like, who closed this out? And nobody has an answer. And I'm like, don't be closing my work orders out. That's my job. Mm -hmm. That's my name on these work orders. Aaron Zeller denied that claim, responding to our question, if that was true, with a simple no. We wanted to sit down with TME officials to get their side. They refused an on-camera interview and instead only answered our questions by email through VDOT Public Relations. Earlier, we told you LaBianco was fired from TME. He claims he was let go for refusing to do what he called unsafe work after the pothole mess on February 8th, when TME was under intense scrutiny. I'll have that part of the story coming up tonight at 6. Lauren Compton, 10 on your side. And coming up at 5.30, VDOT says the system for reporting potholes is flawed and it takes too much time to get them fixed. Hear what Bob LaBianco says about that and what he says he witnessed coming up at 5.30.